everyone, how are you? It's Boxing Day. It is the afternoon here in Australia where I am. I'm gonna make sure that my, yep, my volume's up. So how's everybody going? How was your Christmas? I would love to know where you're watching from in the comments or if you're watching the replay of this. Just wanted to come on and ask you, what does Christmas mean to you? To me, it is a time of renewal, of spending time with my family and friends that are close to me and of honoring the original solstice celebrations or festivals that Christmas is stolen from. Now, in terms of the Northern Hemisphere, 21st of December is the longest night of the year in the Northern Hemisphere. And that traditionally was a festival or a time of Yule. Hence, Yuletide, Yule time stolen by the Christian Crusaders, reappropriated, changed to the 25th of December, and couched as Jesus' birthday. Now, if you believe in the Bible and you look at the stories, Jesus was born in... Uh, it was not snowing when Jesus was born. I think he was born in spring or autumn which means he was born around October, actually, if I have my dates correct. If I am wrong, please correct me because I don't want to be putting out false information. But from memory, I'm pretty sure the actual date of Jesus' birthday is October, not 25th of December. The actual date for the solstice of Yule or the festival of Yule was the 21st of December, the longest night of the year. And it's a time for going inward, sitting with your darkness or slowing down and feeling what you need to nurture yourself and nourish yourself. That is in the Northern Hemisphere. In terms of the Southern Hemisphere, 20, around the 21st of December, well this year it was the 22nd of December, it depends on the moons and the weather and the seasons, because everything is cycles with the seasons actually, is the Summer Solstice or and or the Letha Festival, which is the fire festival honoring the sun and your fire, uh, burning away what no longer serves you. What are you creating for the new year? What are you harvesting? It's the time of the harvest. So that is the Southern Hemisphere solstice and festival, which is what I'm more in alignment with. I did a little video on it recently after I went to a solstice event um, on the weekend, I think it was, last Saturday. Oh, my phone's going to go dead. So sorry if this cuts out. But Christmas itself is a Christian tradition or a Christian uh, creation created to bury the pagan traditions to assimilate into the Christian culture and also to try to get the pagans on board when they were converting people to Christianity back in the time of the Crusades etc um, but in terms of modern times I I don't follow any religion I am spiritual I align with paganism but I don't really like to put labels on things or on myself so I'm exposing my daughter to everything I've studied a lot about different religions different um, what's it called you can do it at uni um, oh, what is it called when you study theology a lot of theology and different spirituality just to see what I align with and what is the ethos or the crux or the root of everything. And to me, the root of everything is love thy neighbor and don't hurt anybody else. You know, follow your own alignment as long as you're not hurting anyone. That's the basis of everything for me. Um, so as for Christmas, I prefer to follow the solstice wherever I am. And right now I'm in the Southern Hemisphere, so I was celebrating Letha doing rituals to burn away what was no longer serving me. It's now Boxing Day. Boxing Day every year is a time for me of planning, scheduling, realigning with what my desires are, what I desire in the new year, what I desire now, and planning and creating, sitting with myself. So I'm going to be going live later on about that. We've got a Capricorn new moon today, which is amazing for personal goal setting and or business setting or even just setting new years. New Year's um, resolutions or intentions, basically goals. So we'll be talking about that, how I do my planning. Um, sorry, that was choking me a little bit. How I do my planning 
a little dip into an energy audit because I do an energy audit around this time every year, which is actually the first module of the Earth Angel Energy Incubator, which starts again in February. And then tonight when I go live, I will be doing or discussing with you my schedule for my programs and everything that are coming up in 2020. So I hope you're well. Please let me know in the comments, what does Christmas mean to you? What do you think about the Christian Crusaders stealing and appropriating the solstice and changing the date to a date that actually does not energize us, that actually makes us play small and kind of snuffs out our fire or our passion or our ability to go inward and then express? I'd love to know and let me know if you're watching the replay and where you're watching from. Much love to you. I will catch you all later tonight. Bye. Mwah.